Hello viewers. Uh, today in continuation of our uh, fraud awareness uh, lessons and all, I would uh, like to briefly touch upon uh, one important uh, and uh, uh, most uh, happening thing in the current uh, the, uh, current situation and uh, in the recent times. Uh, namely, you see uh, the e-commerce. You see, it is a, but it is very important to understand uh, the digital commerce and e-commerce uh, because uh, that is how, in the present context, uh, the present uh, times, uh, the whole uh, business uh, yeah, and other communications are running, and also we have. ICT. You see, I uh, basically is uh, ICT is information communication technologies uh, that is involved in storing, transmitting, and manipulating the data. And ICT also it is deals with all these things like internet, wireless networks, cell phones, and uh, computers, uh, and uh, so software, middleware video conferencing, social networking and all that. See, why it is important to understand first ICT information communication technologies is it is under the umbrella of ICT you find digital commerce and e-commerce. So e-commerce means uh, it is uh, like uh, uh, restricted to purchasing, buying and selling and all these like uh, B2B yeah, that is business to business and it is a business to uh, uh, business to consumer and uh, C to C consumer to consumer like uh, eBay which is a consumer because he himself buys from the business so there it is B to C and then C to C uh, and then C to B consumer to business mm -hmm. okay like uh, Amazon Alibaba Walmart eBay and all these things fall under that so that's all the in that context we use e-commerce and uh, uh, digital commerce is a much broader aspect which comprises of all these and uh, besides uh, let's say developing marketing servicing uh, analytics uh, uh, promotion and uh, 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 feedback and all these things uh, uh, which are through uh, affected through internet and mobiles and com uh, commerce infrastructure that's all the uh, and the digital commerce also one should not get confused between digital commerce and e-commerce and these two fall under the umbrella of uh, ICT that is uh, information communication technologies so why uh, because nowadays uh, and also with the COVID-19 uh, uh, pandemic almost uh, the whole uh, uh, world is running on this uh, okay district uh, on this uh, district commerce and e-commerce in the sense uh, i mean the, the purchases the buying the selling the services even the jobs are being undertaken on uh, from uh, remote places like working from home and all these things so where uh, everywhere and uh, of course it's all the ict and the internet and the web and all that one which we have also discussed in various contexts earlier the thing is, digital commerce is booming in India with 960 million active telecom subscribers. Okay, and internet usage has increased multifold rapidly with high competition. Okay, <clears throat> uh, 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 between uh, so many mobile uh, service providers and internet companies and all of come up like that. Uh, Goldman Sachs uh, predicts that by 2024, e-commerce market will reach US. 99 billion dollars so that is the scope and the extent of this these platforms so uh, <coughs> why uh, why it is important under this context of fraud is now the world is so dependent on this uh, they are digital commerce and e-commerce and uh, the business to business or whatever and all these things services everything their total dependency is you know simultaneously with all the growth of technology and all these things and uh, over the period uh, of next five years it is predicted that uh, simple mobile phones 
uh, with, uh, with their and different different apps and all that becomes the basis of this e-commerce and uh, transactions simply by if you have a phone you can buy anything and simply without any communication know that you can buy things you can sell things you can transfer money and everything and uh, on different platforms and all that and uh, this uh, mobile technology and the uh, the special apps and uh, respect to play stores or whatever uh, is going to be a uh, booming and in thing okay and so mm, all this also gives scope maximum scope i mean simultaneous business to the fraudsters also so now we are talking about all these things this development this technology this growth is not going to stop okay simultaneously the fraudsters also are not going to stop because they also have now a wide range of uh, uh, space to do uh, their fraudulent activities so um uh, now the uh, the businesses because their interest depends on the consumers and the consumers because their needs depends on the businesses and now there is a necessity for the implementation of safety measures fraud risk uh, assessment should be done fraud risk measures should be undertaken okay now uh, nowadays like uh, and there should be a common uh, identification thing like in india uh, the aadhar card like in us social security number i mean given your aadhar card number or social security number or something yeah it can be traced the person can be known and there is a trial uh, for all various transactions and so those should be done and also Besides this development, all that this COVID-19 pandemic has further spurred development of frauds uh, and further developed digital transformation and artificial intelligence. Okay, and so it is all a uh, simultaneous uh, growth of technology, a simultaneous growth of a way of living, and uh, unfortunately, the uh, explosion of COVID-19 pandemic. Which is uh, all the more has uh, made it uh, uh, necessary for each and every individual to be dependent on this uh, e-commerce and uh, other uh, mobiles and everything for doing their thing and laptops and computers everything for doing uh, their work uh, for their earning. So and also now super apps like WeChat, uh, Chinese one and the Sand, Snap and several other such one are already embedded in the social fabric and became dominant part for digital commerce okay so <clears throat> uh super apps are the game changers in the next five years i mean nothing i mean without a mobile you cannot survive you cannot move uh, and, uh, and everything becomes very difficult for you <clears throat> so thus companies also need to balance the need for smooth digital trans transaction journey that is essential for protection against the online frauds so the consumer should be protected eh, um, against all this uh, uh, for doing all this digital e-commerce transactions uh, otherwise if, if if you are not happy by doing the business with uh, a company a because of a fraud occurring there or because you are not think they have not taken any can you shift to company b which is uh, uh, taken more uh, uh, action in the uh, in protecting the consumer so it, it becomes a, a very highly essential for the businesses also to adapt to this uh, new way of living not only because of the covid 19 but also because of the rapid development of uh, innovation and technology okay and so there is substantial increase in frauds also after covid 19 pandemic mainly cyber frauds phishing okay uh, phishing scams and all these things that may affect the consumer's trust as just now i'm saying if, uh, the, uh, if a company also does not equally uh, take uh, uh, protective measures and uh, safety measures uh, and the, the consumer also uh, loses trust in that and then he moves to another company. Mm -hmm.
So companies have to strike a balance of security against fraud in e-commerce transactions through various measures like digital wallet and uh, national identification schemes like other card or social security numbers and artificial intelligence for these things. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, like, uh, so the, this is a highly essential. So that one uh, who are dealing also in fraud should have also broad understanding and also the layman and the consumers and they should have understanding how things are working. Okay, uh, how things are going to be uh, challenging in the days to come, mm -hmm. uh, and what are the precautions also they have to take. Mm -hmm like the mobiles which are extremely used for all the online and e-commerce transactions are also nowadays protected by biometric authorization of payment facial recognition in case of some uh, um, uh, communications between, uh, between persons and uh, corporations or any conference or things like that two-step authorizations and to end encryption in messaging app, apps okay software patches frequent updated or softwares so uh, all these are also should be simultaneously done by the respective professionals and the company should invest substantially in these measures for increasing uh, its uh, uh, services or sales or whatever okay by uh, giving uh, um, and placing uh, by making the consumer to trust the company that uh, it is very safe to do transactions with them uh, and, uh, 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 and so that and also to uh, give the necessary feedback and all this and it's a it's a continuous process okay so uh, this is the uh, whole uh, concept of this e-commerce and this e-commerce and uh, the uh, information communication technologies okay uh, I mean, there's a big role by them and uh, uh, dealing with various uh, uh, aspects uh, of all the uh, uh, internet and wireless technologies and uh, things and uh, <coughs> uh, which are uh, to be discussed and uh, separately. So, in e e for example, this e-commerce has grown to such huge extent, especially in our Asia and Southeast Asia, like in India, China, Hong Kong, and Philippines, these four countries stand uh, in a, uh, and their growth is tremendous in these four countries uh, for e commerce transactions, and it's going to still uh, double or triple in the years to come. So, with the, there's a lot of development of super apps also in, uh, in these countries, and uh, uh, so these this will uh, uh, this has to be simultaneously he the be the consumer also should be protected with this simultaneous increase of the business due to this development of super apps technology and application of e-commerce uh, in the various business transactions so like already discussed there, there are seven uh, major uh, things that company should focus like unique identification standards and then uh, the strong regulations for personal data collection storage and usage because every time you are giving so much of data about yourself your address yeah etc etc and uh, while dealing uh, your buying or selling or other transactions or whatever or the growth and anything First, they are asked you a yeah, lot of uh, this personal uh, data and information uh, so that should be stored properly and used properly. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the acceleration of digital uh, transformation should be there by all, all the companies in the uh, years, in the days to come. And the application of uh, artificial intelligence, then high security digital wallets and online payment methods should be developed mm -hmm. to make secure that there is no misuse of the cards extra by which most of these payments are made by debit or credit cards uh, okay then uh, mobile phones primarily servicing uh, they are the uh, main uh, things by the, the becoming the, the source of uh, affecting all the transactions in the future and uh, so even they, they should be 
adequately safeguarded with all the safety features for doing transactions and so that even if, and also to lock the thing in the case that it is lost or something because so much of personal information and other things are there okay and also uh, so, <coughs> uh, secure uh, securely um, uh, uh, secure platforms for e-commerce e there, there you you have proper adequate security measures and then other uh, um, uh, fraud risk uh, uh, mechanism should be there to uh, reduce or avoid or prevent frauds occurring mm. so and also to develop the consumers uh, confidence uh, in this uh, e-commerce uh, revolution so thus uh, it is all the present day thing a scenario which i come across a report like new dimensions of change in the present digital consumer world in the digital consumer landscape okay so um, uh, we, are, we are aware this digital commerce is booming in india as i told you with 960 million active uh, telecom subscribers okay nowadays not only one but people are using uh, two mobiles and all these things and uh, so uh, it has become uh, the basic tool to move around and to do your purchasing do your purchasing your selling your buying and other things and also to um, uh, do your other activities on the internet and all that so uh, because the the fraudster also is aware you see he is as much aware like you or me because as already discussed earlier anyone can be a fraudster so people who are regularly dealing also they may come out with some super methods or uh, for trying to defraud the company also mm -hmm. similarly there may be uh, companies that you know uh, that may come up uh, with the products or services uh, uh, to induce the consumers and then uh, take their monies and never deliver the product or service so mm, there will also be uh, uh, a growth of fraudsters both from the buyer point of view and the seller point of view i mean it can be a, 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 a fake company that, uh, that come up as a fraudster or there may be a fake consumer that uh, try to cheat the uh, genuine company yeah, these things happen we know in amazon and all the other things uh, <coughs> where uh, that they get the things refunds and all these things uh, refund cases and all false refunds false purchases and then giving wrong addresses getting the things done thing and also all this is a thing or by, by fake identities uh, stealing uh, somebody's cards and then making purchase and all and so it all become a very complex thing so uh, since this development of technology also brings along uh, the increase in the frauds and all that the consumer the companies uh, okay and the fraud examiners and the, all the, everyone should be aware of these uh, things and wherever needed we all should take the help of the particular professionals because no one person can uh, understand the whole concepts <coughs> and so uh, the help of professionals should be taken to put adequate uh, safety measures and then uh, 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 to prevent these frauds occurring online or how to go about it and all these things and so with these few words and uh, i in this uh, uh, brief introduction of uh, this uh, the digital commerce and e-commerce growth and the growth of the frauds and uh, how we should uh, try to uh, balance these things uh, in a way that uh, uh, the corporates make their uh, good business and the consumers get their good product and then and neither the company nor the consumer are, are, uh, are cheated by a third party fraudster or the company is not cheated by a fraudulent consumer or the consumer is not cheated by a fraudulent company 
so it's a, a in this framework um, uh, we should work and uh, we, uh, we should have an understanding because as i already said down the line it is a total dependency uh, for everything and it uh, just comes down from laptop and computers to even uh, simple uh, uh, mobile phones uh, where uh, your very existence uh, is going to be there you go uh, and we are living on this and so there should be good safety measures there should be uh, uh, continuous update of these things and uh, uh, when the uh, company is dealing they also should be sure of their consumer and the consumer similarly while dealing with company should be sure of the company with which he is dealing mm, that it is not a fake company or something and uh, so uh, yeah, it is a complex uh, 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 complex accumulation of the various all these factors that should be kept in mind by one and all uh, and uh, once you take all the precautions and all that one uh, at least uh, you can almost uh, avoid getting cheated uh, uh, in a, as a consumer or a company okay so we shall move on with uh, uh, more information uh, relating to frauds and all that one and I again uh, request all my viewers to subscribe to my youtube channel where I already put a lot of uh, fraud awareness lessons um, that will uh, not only educate people or uh, students uh, in their endeavor to, uh, towards the study of this uh, subject but also in the general public and uh, one and all also will have an idea and uh, uh, what is happening and uh, what are the basic precautions to take and all that one and i'm quite sure it will be of some uh, help to one and all please subscribe to my channel too thank you